there. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling really good and I hope you didn't tune into this because you just had a very terrifying experience and it sort of felt like a stroke. So let me get right into this. A few weeks ago I had something which is now I know is called an aura migraine. So the way it feels is for me typically I usually get these after I have tried to break through a plateau in fitness. So it wasn't a regular workout. It's a workout where I've been out of shape for a while. I'm trying to break a new threshold. And so I've pushed myself harder than I usually do. Uh, another thing that usually has seemed to cause this for me is after I do that work, I'll go and I'll look at some sort of a screen, whether it's my cell phone, whether it's a TV, whether it is a computer, and I'm just sitting there and all of a sudden I see this zigzag, this colorful zigzag line appear in my visual field. And the first time it happened, I thought I was going crazy because what is that? Like, it's not something you see every day. And then I went to the bathroom mirror and I looked in the reflection and all of a sudden the right side of my visual field started losing sight on the right side. So not only was I losing vision in the middle of my visual plane on the right side, I was also losing my peripheral vision. And this scared the crap out of me, terrified. Then I started um, running around trying to find my husband at the time and telling him that I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Uh, and all of a sudden, the second thing I experienced was all of a sudden I couldn't articulate. I knew the words in my head, but they weren't coming out. So I'm just like, ugh. So that was the second symptom. And then as it proceeded, about 15 minutes later, at this point, we're calling ambulances, we're terrified. And the last symptom was, and this happened when we got to the hospital, my whole right side of my arm went numb. I'm thinking a stroke. So we got through emergency and doctors told me this is called an aura migraine, also known as an ocular migraine. And the cause for this, which you totally would think it's a stroke, is something shifts with your with your brain and your serotonin and your dopamine systems are affected and something goes wrong where um, your body overreacts and your immune system starts attacking and sending too many neurotransmitters out. So what happens is your blood vessels in your brain widen and close and you get all these symptoms. But the crazy thing is the symptoms always happen in the same order for me. And um, another thing is that I had no pain. There was no headache. So I was confused as to why they called it a migraine. So it turns out that sometimes people do have the headache. Some people don't have the headache. Um, but you do get extreme leg arthy after and you're like very sensitive to sound and to light for the whole complete day after. And I would say at least half, if not the whole day, the next day. So um, apparently one in five people get these kind of migraines and it's very common to have the three steps. I've had these about four times in my life and um, most recently it scared the complete crap out of me. Um, the first time I had it was a year and a half after giving birth, trying to get back into shape. I had gone to gymnastics. I was looking up at the strobe lights, tumbling upside down. Then I was again at a monitor. Um, most recently it happened to me when I again had gone to the gym and I had pushed myself and exerted myself and then was looking at my phone. What scared me was this time it was way more severe. I had the three stages again. So first, you're feeling irritable. The first stage, again, I saw the little colorful zigzag line. I'm like, oh my God, I know what this is. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna lie down, thankfully I was home. And then I lay down and then I had the next step, which was I couldn't articulate, I couldn't talk, but I also noticed when I tried to read my phone to warn people, you know, please note to call me if you don't hear from me in half an hour because I'm feeling really sick. I looked at my phone, I looked at words and words looked like hieroglyphics to me. Terrifying, you can't read, you can't talk. And the third, 
step was the the whole right of your arm going numb it wasn't just my arm it was my leg and it felt like the right side of my lung totally scared the living crap out of me I ran to the doctor um, they ordered me MRIs they think everything's okay only one in five people they say they get a migraine get this kind of migraine and you know in Canada it takes a year to get an MRI so who knows most every resource I look at says they're absolutely not uh, dangerous but here's what I found they happened to me when I worked out and then I looked at a screen but also uh, I did a little bit of research and it shows that people usually get migraines when you have low brain magnesium so I started taking magnesium and it's not happened since people really underestimate how important it is for athletes or people that are working out hard to have proper magnesium levels in your body and in your brain so if I have any words of advice is make sure that if you're pushing a new th threshold for fitness that you don't come home and look at a screen and look at a monitor after you always make sure that after an intense workout your electrolytes which the biggest electrolyte in your in your body is magnesium the best type of magnesium to take is anything that ends with an eight so magnesium malate magnesium citrate so just make sure if I had any advice is to make sure that if you're pushing a new threshold that you're topping up your magnesium and also know how to know the signs if you if you see the zigzag get some water get some magnesium in you and just breathe through it usually they only last about 20 minutes to half an hour if you're really unlucky it would last a whole hour I felt completely dumb the next day but thank goodness everything comes back to normal so if you guys have any questions about the experience you know let me know if you have any worries don't worry it is just a type of migraine that is extremely scary but harmless and go see your doctor just to rule out any other things there are some genetic components to these migraines if you have done your genetics on 23andme you could ch check certain SNPs to see if you have the genetic component of these type of migraines but you know most often you've just pushed yourself too hard you've reduced your electrolytes and you've stimulated your brain right after by looking at a computer screen so don't do that don't look at the screens especially not at, after you've already you know overstimulated your body rest just rest afterwards. Thank you.